Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. And today, I'm going to be reviewing, uh, I'm going back to, I guess, talking about and reviewing low budget, obscured cinema. What's I've done like a bunch of times anyway, and I realized, I just got to watching this movie by the way. So I just want to, you know, review this movie real quick, of course, but... So the film I'm going to be talking about is the one, is of course the one titled... Uh, Beneath the Twelve Mile Reef. Beneath the Twelve Mile Reef is the one I'm going to be reviewing today, folks. And I realized that... I, I know I, I brought up this before, but... I have not reviewed something from the nifty 50s movie pack, yep. I'm talking about this pack again, folks. Yes, sir. Yep. I'm doing a video with, uh, based on this set again, folks. So, there's like 50 movies from the 1950s. And, it's not genre specific. It's just mini mo random movie from random genres. So, I have not reviewed a movie from this set for quite some time. So, let's get back to it, I guess. So, Anyway, uh, like I said, it's the one titled, oh yeah, here we go, I'm going to put my gun right here, a moment, oh, yeah, Beneath the Twelve Mile, Beneath the Twelve Mile Reef, hmm. a lot of junk around here, so anyway, folks, ugh, anyway, as always, I do have the top of the plot, so let's just get into it, shall we? So here we go. So, so in some ways, this film is centering around a love story because the main character here is in love with this woman. And this woman, you know, she's pretty, of course. She's, she has her own looks, her own charm, of course. And she wants to stick around the the main character of course and but the thing is that of course the movie is not going to just center around that you got to have an adventure of course we get to see that there's this reef and let's just say things do become rather dangerous and dangerous stuff happens of course as the movie progress yeah there's this uh son father kind of team and, yeah, when I say this get dangerous, it does get dangerous. So, let's just say that things do become rather risky for our main characters. Well, it is an adventure film after all, folks. And it has to get pretty risky, pretty, um, crazy in a lot of ways. And let's say our main character does make a living of you know, scuba diving, of course. And that's what it's supposed to do, of course. And that's how, yeah, those, the, just specific things to do have to look for, of course. And, yeah, that's the thing. This movie takes place on a very specific area somewhere, of course, where we get to see that, you know, our main character, he's a, he's a brave individual. And, of course, he wants to do what he believes to be right. He's a very... Supposed to be a brave individual, of course. He knows what he wants, and he's gonna get it, of course. So, I suppose, you know, of course, there's a lot of scuba diving, there's a lot of scenes that do take place under the sea. I mean, do get con some conflict with the family, of course, with the main character's family in regards to the mother. Because the, the mother character does feel like her son should not go into this area, this reef area, because, like I said, people can die, and people had died, so, there's one scene where the mother character and the, uh, does attempt to convince the wife to convince the, the boyfriend to, don't do this shit, things, this is pretty fucking crazy. But, of course, our main character is going to be pretty damn stubborn, obviously. And that's how it is. So, 
I guess that's how life is. You had to grab the bull by the horns, of course. So, yeah. That's basically the summary of the story, folks. I don't want to give away too much, of course. I got my cup of joe, folks. Here's three. I got my cup of joe. Gotta have my fucking cup of coffee, folks. <sighs> yeah, delicious. Yes, yeah, sorry. So anyway, folks, as I was saying, this one is pretty exciting in its own little way. It gets pretty crazy, I guess. I did like it, obviously. I did like what was done here. I did like. I did think it was pretty crazy. I did think it did have an adventurous feel to it, which of course was the idea. So. I can say that this is definitely something that I would say is worth watching. Yeah, like I said before, folks, it's it is in pack. It's in this pack right here. I do believe that this film was already sold individually, in its own disc DVD. So yeah, there's been multiple multiple prints of this movie, but this is not the only way to watch the film. But the copy is what I'm talking about is from here, folks. And it, it's in color. It's one of the few movies from the nifty 50s, 50s movie pack that's in color. So not a whole lot of these are in color, folks. Not a lot of them. But this was one of the few that are. But in some ways, uh, I'm glad I uh, picked something to review from here, folks. So I don't know how often I do that, folks. But, oh, you know, I get to do this as often as I can, of course. I do it as often as I can. Not, maybe not right away, but I'll see. I'll see, folks. I'll see how often I do this. So anyway, but the copy I, I watched it from was from that set. The, the picture quality, folks, isn't that good, really. The picture quality looks pretty bad. But I still liked it. I still liked the film anyway. Yes, it's cheaply made. Yes, the production value isn't very high, of course. But I managed to enjoy it anyway. I enjoy reviewing films from the past that are rather obscure. Oh, that's that. There's that word obscure. That seems to I seem to be saying that a lot up in this channel. So anyway, folks, give them give this film a chance, folks. Just to read. So I will give this film an overall rating of a seven point three out of ten. It's a seven point three out of ten for me. And of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, oh yeah.